So today we are going to be talking about user roles assignments and in the previous class we created roles and users page so now we have um, users and we also have roles but we need to find a way now to relate the two of them and assign users some roles and assign user role we need a page to be able to manage these user roles to be able to edit user details for instance if I go to uh, the users here uh, we can click on select a user, manage his role, maybe delete a role from him, add him a role and see the roles assigned to a user. That's what we're going to be doing. Before we continue, let me just take a look at the comment uh, by my subscribers. I have this one coming from Wei Wen Song. He says, thank you, kind son. Thank you for this tutorial. Looking forward to dashboard report and chat. So when I'm going to be doing this a little later, possibly next week, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing this. And we also have Shor Imamov. Uh, yeah, so Shor, uh, Shor, is this Shor or Shor? I don't know the pronunciation of this name. You say you want me to create lessons about permissions. I'm going to be doing it this week, possibly uh, towards the end of this week on Friday. Uh, for example, you need super admin to create one worker, he might have some permissions and he need to be able to set limits, for example, worker can enter um, and, um, some dashboard and the workers can enter some dashboard like this. Yeah, so I understand what you are saying, sure, I'm going to be doing this uh, a little later within this week. Um, test fire get all say push to GitHub, I think I already did that. And yeah, I think I covered the recent comment at this point, except, let me just check. Dashboard reports again by Testfire Gedel. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that possibly by next week. Um, let's see, someone's getting an error. Okay, we're gonna be talking about errors a little later. Okay, so let's proceed at this time. Um, okay, we have Banjoko Abiodun. JPA auditing. Say, I noticed you had coded last modified by. Okay, I already added the code, so I responded to you. So I added the code for a dynamic uh, display of the username or the uh, auditor, the current auditor. Okay, so let's get to work. So let me close this comment. So if you have your comments here, know that I'm actually reading them and I'm not ignoring them. I'm going to be implementing them. And if you are joining me for the first time, please. This is time for you to subscribe, leave me a comment if you have challenges and um, make sure you follow me in my social network profile but make sure you, are, you activate notification as well in case new videos are made. So basically what we are trying to do today is to link the users and the roles to be able to make these two tables relate so that you can have a user and you want to see his roles and you want to assign and unassign him roles. In this case, I've made a step-by-step -step coming from version 1. So it's about the same thing we did in version 1. But in this case, now later on, we're going to be talking about permissions, um, role-based, um, access to pages and dashboard. So in this case, I'm, I think I'm going to be a little, uh, be a little bit fast on this, uh, on this very one. So let's see. So the steps we are going to be taking, we have already gone through this. So we need to modify the user subject to include roles. So I'm going to the user object, I mean the user model. So I'm going to security models, user. So I want to add roles right here. So I, we are going to use this code. We are going to be doing um, one to many. So we are going to be doing uh, roles. Let's see. So we have um, site, ro uh, site roles, roles. So it's going to be set of roles for that particular user. So it's going to be a many to many. So in this case, you don't need to create any other table. Hibernate is going to create a table for you. So I'm going to add this code right here. I'm going to import the, um, the, the classes, uh, import. Yeah, hash site as well. Okay. So this is how we've created the relationship between the user and the role. So that's the first step you want to create. You want to take. Step two is create the role repository and the service. I already created the role repository. So let me um, open it up. So let me create the role repository. It should be this one. So the role repository and the role service. In the role service, auto the user repository, 
Now write the find all, find by ID, save and delete methods in the um, uh, auto where the role, the user repository and the role repository in the role service. So let's go to the role service. Um, so the role service, we have the role repository wiring. We also need to wire in the user repository because we should be able to get uh, users in a role, right? I want to get a list of roles for given a user ID. So I'm going to auto wire the user repository here, user repository, user repository, okay? All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to write in this place, we want to as write the assign a role and an assign role for a user. I also have written both of them right here. For assign role, what's going to happen here, we are going to take a user ID and the role ID, we are going to fetch this user, and then we are going to fetch this role, and we are going to take this role and add it to the roles collection of this user, and then we are going to um, save the user object back to the repository. So that's what happens when you assign role to a user. So you fetch the user, assign the role to the set of the role of the user, and save back this um, user object. So this should be done in the, let me see. Uh, yeah, so in the role service, I think that's where we are going to be doing this. Okay. So permit me to do the import here and here as well, we do the import. All right, so I'm sure this should be clear. So if you want to uh, take some time to look at it, let's see. So what we did here is we get the user object, we get the role, we add, we uh, get the user roles and we add the role to the set of roles of, of this user. Then we set back the roles and we save the user object. So what we do in case of on assign uh, role is a little bit different. In this case, we are going to be using a Lambda expression to remove role from the uh, a set of um, user roles. So let me paste it and then I explain it to you. So in case of on assign a role, you are going to uh, first get the user object and then get the roles of the user and then remove the given role from the a set of user roles and then save it back to the repository. So we also have the methods to get user roles and get user not roles. I explained this from version one. Get user roles simply means that if you have a user, you're managing a user, I want to see the list of roles he's assigned. You also need get user not roles because if you want to assign user a role, you want to see the list of roles that has not been assigned to that user. So if you assign user a role, then in that case, that role, that role assigned to the user will not, no longer display in get user not roles. So you do, in, in this case, you don't, you don't mix up roles assigned to a user and roles not assigned to a user. I think this should be clear. I think I did a bit of explanation in my website. Okay. So um, we are going to get user roles. I'm going to simply copy it and paste. Um, I'm going to paste it here. And get user not roles. Now this is very, very, very important. Get user not roles requires you write a query to select uh, roles of the, from the list of roles where that role is not being assigned to a user. So the query is kind of um, a little bit better verbose, but quite quiet. So we are going to use this query, this native query here to extend our JPA repository. And then that's the only way or the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to kind of close it. Okay, so let me make some room. So here we have this query, we've extended our JPA repository. So we're actually writing SQL query to select data from the database inside the repository um, inter interface right here. So let me just import class and import as well. Okay. All right, so the next step now says that you can write the methods, uh, the methods in the user service as shown below. So list, uh, list of roles, get user not roles, and also get user roles. So I'm going to the user service now. Um, give me one second. 
Okay, I think I wrote these two methods in the um, in the in the role savvy. So there are two methods. I'm going to simply copy this, the first one, and paste it. So this get user not uh, case. So we are done with the first part. We've added uh, four things: assign user on assign user role, get user roles, and get user not roles. Let's now move to the next part. Now we are going to be talking about the controller as well as the page to the page that is going to actually manage this user role assignment and on assignment. All right, so let's go, go ahead to follow the steps. Here are the steps from version one, so it should be easy. We will have to create role controller as well as a, a roles page for lists, add, edit, and delete roles, and the steps are as follows as well here. Um, create the roles of HTML page inside the templates folder, write the markup to display, and create the JS file. Optionally, you could add navigation links to the roles page, test the page, and add a few roles. This is what I think we did uh, when we did, uh, we've already created the roles page. Now, what we are talking about now should be the user edit page. So, a page like this, what we have here, where we are going to have the user data. I'm going to display the roles of this user, the list of roles, and the roles not assigned to this user. So from these roles not assigned, you can choose roles assigned, and it's going to appear here, giving you the option to unassign. So that's what we are going to be doing following these steps. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go to the user controller, I think. Yeah, let's see. You need to write the controller methods to show the edit page. I to be written in the role controller. So there is a role controller. So we need this method that's going to display the role. Uh, the the it's going to display the user edit page. We've not created this page for now, so let me paste it. Okay. So I think I did uh, make up the user service. So there is a user service. Uh, I think I never had this. I find all find by ID delete and update and save okay this is the user service now the role service i added the role service uh i think we are done with the role service we are talking about the role controller the role controller now should be able to display a page to edit user right so we are displaying the edit user page because we are editing the roles of this user so we added this edit and uh should be edit employee i call it edit employee but was actually edit user i can change the name to edit user so it's going to take the user id to edit and it's going to display the user edit page right it's going to display the user edit page so sorry um this Edit user should better be in the should better be in the uh, user controller. Sorry, it should be better. It should be here in the user controller. It should be here the user controller. And in the user controller, we should also have auto wire the role service as well. So I'm going to just uh, okay. So this is the user controller. We are done with it. So we are going to display the user edit page from the user controller but managing the roles now be handled from the roles controller so we are done with the user controller i'm going to now go to the role controller so from the role controller that's where we now assign on assign um, and get the list so let's go back to the roles uh, the user uh, controller so here we are displaying the user object, we are displaying the user roles and the user not roles. So we are going to just display these items on the page, but actual role assignment and on assign and reassignment or um, role assignment and on assignment will be managed from the roles controller. Okay, so it means that in the roles controller, we are simply going to write this two methods to assign and unassign roles. So I'm going to simply copy them and paste. Okay, so these are the methods in the role controller to assign and unassign uh, role. Now this dashboard page, not a dashboard, just a this page, we don't have it yet. So I'm going to simply go to create it. The name of this page is user edit. 
I'm going to simply create it right here. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste it. You can find it in GitHub because I'm not going to be showing you the HTML markup. It should be clear. It contains two tables, one table here, one table here, and one form. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste it, and then uh, you take a look at the markup. Okay, so this is the user edit page. What's going to happen is that from the users, from the list of users, you have edit user. Let me just show you from the list of users, you can select a user and then edit that user is going to display the user edit page. So I'm going to run this application and let's see how it plays out. Then take some time to get your head around this code because it seems a bit um, tricky, but uh, if you spend time looking at it, it's going to be really fun. So now the application is running. And if I refresh this page now, for instance, we have this page. Now, when I click on Manage Roles, it should display uh, the uh, user edits. And so let's go troubleshoot. So it's going to security user edit. So when we, um, so security user edits, uh, and then this is going to display the page slash security slash user edit. So this tend to be correct. So I made some changes right here. I added the operation. It's going to be either edit or details. And we have we have the trading slash here and slash security slash user or can be edit or detail. So if I go to the users, uh, let me just see. So here we have edit. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, yeah. So it goes to, uh, yeah, that is fine. But the name of the page is the is user uh, either user edit or user details. For now, we don't have user details. You simply need to create a page, user details, and then lock all the fields so that it's not editable. That's a task I'm giving you as a homework. So let me uh, stop this application and then rerun. Okay, so I'm going back again here, um, refreshing this page, common error for refresh, manage roles. Yeah, so this um, user edit uh, tool, it says, template not available. By the way, the template should be there. So it means that to solve this, uh, this problem, we simply have to restart the application. It says uh, security slash user edit does not ex exist. By the way, uh, it is right there. So I'm going to simply close the application and restart it. And it's going to solve this problem. So I'm going to close. Okay, so I restarted the application. I'm logging in and from here, manage roles. And then, then we have the roles management page. So from here, you can assign and unassign user roles. For instance, I can unassign HR admin from here. Okay, and it unassigns. Uh, but so in this case, it unassigned, but it did not refresh. So, but in this case, I think you can fix it. So I'm going to stop here. And the next part, we are going to be doing uh, assets, um, role-based assets restriction to pages. And then the next part, we are now going to be doing uh, permissions, like retry permissions. So please remember to subscribe, leave me a comment, and also make recommendations on what you need me to do to improve these lessons. And let's continue from the next class. I remain kind and the genius, and I'm always there for you.